God says in a moment of wrath, I have hidden my face from you, but with everlasting mercy, I will draw you to myself. Just as there was a day of disfavor, there's going to be a day of favor. As there was a day of dispersion, I will cast you out to all the nations. There's going to be a day of gathering. In a moment of wrath I hid my faith from you, but with everlasting mercy, God is going to come to Israel. They have won every war, the 1948, the Sinai campaign, the Six Day War, the Yom Kippur War, the Lebanese War. They will win the next war and they will win the war against Gog and Magog. It will take them seven months to bury the dead. Not their own dead, but the dead of their enemies. And then in a final assault of the devil, with all the Armageddon nations against Jerusalem and Israel. Again, they will win that war, for the Lord himself will fight for them and trample these nations out in the winepress of Israel. Israel has come home to in every war. The lie that's been perpetrated, even in Christian circles, that they've come home for another slaughter, another holocaust, is a lie from the dead. We have come to tell Israel, you have double received. And we will double comfort you in his name. Comfort ye, comfort ye, says your God. We are here to announce that as the Bible says there was a day of wrath, when God hid his face from his people, there is a day that God turns his face in favor with everlasting mercy. And with his whole heart, and with his whole soul, as we see today, will plant them in the land he promised as an everlasting possession. And even though the whole world will turn against them, as God is for them, God says, I will do miracles among you. Not because you believe in me, but because of my holy name's sake. That the nations that have vilified you may know that I, the God of Israel, keep my promise. I scattered you and I promise to bring you back. I said there is a day of scattering, but there is a day of coming home. There is a day of disfavor. But there is also a day announced by me to favor Zion. Yes. The set time has come. And we every time at the feast, whether at the Christian embassy or here or wherever, at Tom Hess, come to announce to the people of Israel in the name of the God of Israel, your time of favor has come. You will win every war. We will stand behind you. We will stand with our prayers and our songs. of the one who has all power in heaven and in earth. Israel, you've come home not for another holocaust as is taught in many churches but you've come home for a day of favor to win every war as you've done up to now. And even though you may not yet know who is the God that loves you. He says, I will do this for you, Israel, not because you so much believe in me, but because of my holy name's sake, that the nations 
that have scorned you. They tremble when they see the hand of God. And Israel will see miracle after miracle to the astonishment of those who thought that the enemies this time will be able to finish what Hitler started. We decree it will not happen and we throw up a wall of protection through our prayers and through our praises that Israel may live and may see the hour of their salvation. And as Paul said, if their rejection and their diminishing, their scattering has been our reconciliation as Gentiles. What shall the fullness of Israel be to this dark planet, sinful and sorrowful, when darkness covers the earth? God says, my light shall shine upon you.